In this tutorial, we are going to look at the idea or concept of least common multiple, sometimes called the LCM. Understanding least common multiple will be helpful, especially when we are adding or subtracting fractions that have different or unlike denominators. Let's look at an example. In this problem, we're trying to add the fractions 1 sixth and 1 fourth. The problem is that they have different denominators, a 6 and a 4 in this case. As it is right now, we can't just simply add these fractions together. We have to find a common denominator. One way to do that is to find the least common multiple between these two numbers. I'm going to list the two denominators right here. And what I'm going to do is list the first few factors for each number. First, I'll start, I'm sorry, I'm going to list the first few multiples for each number. I'll start with 6. And I'm going to put my first multiple, and then I'm going to skip count by 6. And I'm going to do this for maybe the first 4 or 5. Now I'll do the same thing for 4. I'll have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. I'm going to look at both lists, and I'm going to see right away that my first one I have in common is the number 12. We would call 12 the least common multiple between these two denominators. So if I was going to add 1 6 plus 1 4th together, I might convert or change both of them to something over 12. That would help me when I'm adding those together. Once I have them both converted to something over 12, then I can add their numerators together to find the answer to the problem. In this problem, I'm subtracting, but I have the same problem as in the previous one. I have two different denominators, so I can't just simply subtract my numerators right now. I have to find a common denominator. So I can list the multiples of 8 and the multiples of 12 to see if I can find the least common one or the smallest one. I'm going to skip count by 8, and as I do that, I might maybe go with the first 4 or 5. put my first few multiples of 12. Now I notice that the first multiple they have in common is 24. So 24 is the least common multiple between these two fractions. So when subtracting these, I would need to change both of these fractions to something over 24 before I could go ahead and um, subtract them to find the final answer. In this last final problem, I'm adding 2 thirds plus 1 fifth. Once again, I can't simply add them together because I have unlike denominators, in this case a 3 and a 5. So I'm going to use the concept of least common multiple to figure out a denominator that I can convert both of them to. As I skip count by 3's and I skip count by 5's, I'm going to look for a multiple that they have in common. I notice that the first multiple they have in common is 15. So I know that will work. I can convert both fractions to something over 15 since 15 is the least common multiple between the two. It's a multiple they share in common. So I know I'll be able to convert both of them to something over 15. Doing that will help me solve this addition problem using fractions with unlike denominators.